Do you want to watch me build this kit and not follow these instructions? I know what you're thinking. Ashley, what do you mean not follow these instructions? I mean like this right here. They want me to put this stupid paper on the wooden base that basically looks like, no, get out of your paper. I'm much too lazy for that. And then I cut out this floor and adhered the floor to the wood. And wait, watch this. Hiya, boop, boop, boop. There's one floor. Next, I'm living out my electrician dreams by making a teeny tiny lamp. And now for the reason why this kit caught my eye. Right, it's a half circle window, which is half as good as a circle window, but you know what, I'll take what I can get. However, whoever installed this half circle window did not do it properly because it looks like there's mold and I don't know, whatever this is growing on the inside. Was mold in the instructions in this kit? Absolutely not. But I mean, to be fair, is mold ever in any instructions? Are there mold projects out there? Maybe moldologists. Is that a thing? Moldologist? I think it is. Oh, and then they wanted me to put this back on this shelf, but no, I like myself an open concept shelf. Thank you very much. And then we need shelf clutter because I don't trust anybody with clean shelves. That's weird. You should at least have some very weird pictures and rope inside of a box on your shelf. And I don't know why I added a rock, but it, it, there it is. It's a rock in a box. Oh, and you don't remember me painting the shelves with flowers? That's weird. I, I could have swore I filmed that. But I didn't forget to film me making this flower that won't go together right. Like this whole thing was supposed to go in there, but I was also lazy during this part. You know what? Laziness for the win. All right, our shelf clutter is coming along nicely. Now here's me trying to follow the instructions. Emily, get out of there. Yeah, I tried to follow the instructions, but these picture frames were boring. I had to spice them up a little bit. See, look at this cute little spicy bunny. Or does he have spunk? It's a spunky bunny. And then this is just a picture of when that UFO visited the farm that one time, you know, and we took a, we took a picture of it. And then our friend Bigfoot here. Okay, let's compare. Boring, spicy. All right, much better. Let's add our spicy pic Okay, that sounds bad. They're not those kind of pictures. Ooh, but look at all these books. And this one caught my eye. Does this not look like Handmaiden's Tale? And I'm pretty sure that this one's supposed to be like 50 shades of gray. <laughs> Instead, it's 50 shoes. Like I didn't make these books. They came with the kit. I mean, I could have made my own books because did you know that I wrote a book? That's right. I wrote a creepy crafts book and you can pre-order it. Links in my bio. <laughs> Anyways, on with this miniature kit. So that's right, we got a record player, but these records seemed awfully floppy and there's nothing worse than a floppy disk. So I found this fake coin and I glued it on. I think that looks a lot better. And then I glued on this bead, which also wasn't in the instructions and set it on my shelf. Okay, and then the kit came with this bird, but this bird has no beak. What happened to your beak bird? That's okay. We love you anyway, even beakless. You will not be left out. And I know the lack of skulls in this project was unsettling. So of course I added one. Okay, I'm bored, which means you guys are too. So I'm just gonna speed through this and get to the story. Cause you know, I like a miniature with a story. Are they good stories? <laughs> No, they are not, but they are still stories. Okay, so since this kit is giving off like 60s reading den vibes, I'm gonna assume that this house was built in the 60s. So we need like a 60s name, maybe Muriel. Seems like a 60s name, I don't know. <laughs> oh, look at this 60s looking chair that I'm building. This stupid chair is the devil. That's right, if, if the devil was a chair, this chair would be it. I don't know how this kit expected me to build this stupid chair and make it look right. It looks like it was hit with an ugly stick. And I, I tried my hardest, it looks nothing like the picture. Look at that perfect chair in that picture. There's no way this kit is lying to us, but that's okay. This is where we go off script because instructions are for lamey, lamey lamos who can do the art better than I can. See, I covered all my embarrassments with string, except this back. Don't look at it. It's it's still embarrassing, but that's okay because we're going to cover it up too. Look, it wasn't worthy enough to be Muriel's favorite chair. That would have been nobody's favorite chair. In fact, that would have been the chair that you would have set your husband who wouldn't let you get a circle window in. That's what... That's what kind of cheer that would have been. Anyways, I forgot that this was a story about Muriel and I, I guess her husband. Okay, okay. So I guess they owned this house in the 60s in a town in the middle of nowhere. In fact, the town was called Nowhere. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> Who lives in the middle of nowhere with her husband, Eustace Bass. Who won't let her get a circle window. But creepy stuff happens in the middle of nowhere. So it's up to courage. <laughs> okay, sorry. I guess my 90s is showing. Okay, let's get back to being serious, but not too serious. So obviously, Obviously this farmhouse was abandoned as a pop. <laughs> so something must have happened. Emily, stop it. Okay, I promise I'm gonna get through this story. E Emily, hey. seriously, I don't know what her deal is. She's making this 10 times harder. Just, just ignore her. 
All right, now that we've been distracted about 100 times, I'm going to tell you this story. No matter what happens on the screen, Emily, we're just going to ignore it and I'm going to tell the story. Okay, ready? Go. <gasps> there was a group of governmental scientists that went rogue. I guess it would be called a scientist gang. Or is the technical term for a grouping of scientists a herd? <laughs> I'm going to go with a herd. Anyways, so this herd of scientists are out in the middle of nowhere doing whatever scientists do in a herd, which probably included testing out time travel. I don't know. I've never been in a scientist herd, but I assume that's what they do. So they're running their time travel experiments in Mariel's house because, uh, mm. Ooh, because her husband was one of the scientists. So he tested it out in, in their basement, which he had to do secretly because there's no way Muriel would have let him do that. In fact, that was one of her house rules was no testing out time travel experiments in the basement. But you know, husbands will husband and he did it anyway. He figured it was just a little bit of time travel, you know, not like a lot of time travel. But anyway, so they get stuck in like a time loop because the experiment went horribly wrong, obviously. Remember, we're making a haunted hidey hole here. Not like a, everything is fine, happy hole. So obviously, the experiment went terribly wrong and everybody, including Muriel, are trapped in the house, reliving the same day over and over, but everything's still decaying at the same speed. So even though that their house is growing older, they're not. And no matter how much cleaning they do, they can't get rid of the mold, which is the real horror story here. And the mold feeds off of their energy and the trapped souls inside of the time loop because this is time loop mold, not regular mold, which is apparently different. So now they have to decide if they're gonna outlive their house or if their house will outlive them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. What do you guys think? And what kind of haunted hidey hole should I do next?